Can we actually go back up? No, we can't. All right. Oh my god, I just realized something. If this is, if this well is only 10 segments long, that's how we get the phone number. Think about, think about it. We got a phone number for the ending here. We got a phone number for the ending on this. And then we also got a phone number for this room. Yeah, it keeps going. Oh, wait. And I think because we didn't, maybe because we didn't die here last time, the body isn't there. Uh, okay, so that's there. There's some... Okay, so there's something else there that we could have gone into. Oh, I was close, but... Not for the right reason. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's just versions of us. Oh, please tell me. Okay, good. I do have the key. I can't use this? Uh, bolt cutters, I guess. Fuck. I don't know if I want to walk across that. Door is locked. I can't read that, I guess. There's an elevator. It doesn't seem to walk. Let's avoid those uh, purple things. Let's try the bolt cutters again! <laughs> no. Wait, 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 wait. What if we just, like, stick one of our knitting needles through here? Yeah. There we go, we have the office key. Now, can we use our other sewing needles to kill whoever the fuck this guy is? Freddy Fungus. Okay, well, I have two sewing needles. They better go into this guy's eyes. Guess not. Nope, now we're just in here. What's on this? Gid project documentation. Recorded nymph project documentation. Advanced cell growth photos among the files. Look. Familiar face on it. Yes. Take the ID card. Ah, oh, okay. So Windows 95 screensaver. Okay, cool. Bro. Come on. I think this nine-year-old could pick up that computer. Surely, right? Let's kill the email client, because that is going to... Actually... Yeah, no, I, I'm going to kill the email client, because... It keeps giving me notifications. Oh, cool. Notes are connected to pictures via thread and push pins. Names, blood types, okay. Capture risk level of each person. Don't recognize any of them. Something about their body seems... Okay. 
so what's this? floor. Yeah, let's go to the cyan floor. Sure. Wish I could save. That would be nice. Reads, gold represents absolute perfection the ultimate goal of all chemists or alchemists. Not all chemists. Archives, it's locked. Probably don't need to go in there. Memorial room. There's people in there. Alright, so there is something off with those stairs, which is why we shouldn't uh, open it. That makes sense. Oh boy, what is this cult-looking symbol? Brimstone sulfur represents heat, dryness, human soul. The hell smells of sulfur. Oops. And that was me knocking over a coffee cup. It's a probable soul. Scrap project repository. I can't read what that says. Incinerator, it's locked. Yeah, I probably don't want to go in there. Recycle room, it's locked. Alright. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go further on this level. It's the inside of the well. Oh. Shit. Okay. Oh my god, I just realized something. We leaped I leaped forward quite a bit. Cuz each of these floors corresponds with the well, right? And I bet you that there is a I bet you that like vent looking thing, right? That's probably an incinerator. And all of these purple vines, this kind of corresponds with when that purple vine was going down the well. Or pink, I guess, would be, uh, yeah. Oh, there's multiple rooms here. Okay, what's this? Nymph Project Body Test Room, it's locked. Okay, let's read all of this. Little plaque reads Earth. Okay, so these are the four elements. Yep, all right. Well, let's. In use. Okay, yep. What about over here? Alright, yeah. So, each of these floors, we only get a preview. Picture of a green arrow. Phosphorus is a special element. There is a. Yeah, wait. Phosphorus is a special element with the ability to create or capture light itself. Dark room. So this is a photography studio. Okay. Surgical lab. So it's creating a new clone. 
All right. Ground floor. Yeah, even Frey's having trouble with it. I heard they're going to start passing it off onto work study students. Nicole's been cleaning stuff. Uh oh. Ah, uh, so we're just going to go with this random. Okay, I guess we just keep walking. Ah, I see. The fuck? Okay, we have one more number. Okay, um... I feel like I'm now in a weird position where because I know what's gonna happen, I now just have to get all the other endings, and I need six of these. So, the apprentice thing... Maybe that's what the telephone's for, actually. Like, we're gonna dial up this guy- well, okay, this is actually in, what, 1993, probably? Cause she's nine? Oh, god damn it! <sighs> Fuck, I forgot to prepare the the rope. Shit. Alright, um, at this point- At this point now, I- I'll probably just edit out a lot of this, um, simply because it'll take too long. Because we already got the gist of what is going on. Um, yeah, probably fucked up the progression in this, but... I'm interested enough now, man. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty different. What? 
Wow, that is actually a really graphic death. Uh, there was bone coming out of the leg, so I, I censored the fuck out of that. Don't exactly know if that one is going to be safe on YouTube. At minimum, I wouldn't want to look at that, so... Alright, so here's the end of this one. And we just fall off the rope. Okay, same image as before. Alright, yep. We're on number three. Alright, yeah, so there's a light here. Lamp turned on by itself. And then we just fell. Yep, figured. Alright, seven pieces. Let's see what happens here. Because I think this might- isn't this the incinerator? Oh, no. It's this. Oh, this is going to be gruesome, isn't it? Well, there's number seven. Ah, the incinerator. Of the vent. Oh dear God. Yeah, that's horrific. So were those the, um, original five that I was asking about before? Okay, theoretically we could guess the last number because we have, uh, nine <laughs> of the numbers now. By the way, a bizarre thing I've noticed because I'm looking at my task manager. Um, the game, not only are there two executables for it, but the game is using up three gigs of RAM right now across both of the executables, and I'm not too sure why. Uh, because this is... Far from a intense game, I would imagine. For like, <laughs> try and tell me this is a resource intense game. I don't know. It's almost like the game's logging every movement for some reason because the RAM just keeps going up. It's probably now at about three and a half gigs, actually a little bit more. Cool. Someone cut your rope. Oh. Ugh.
Jesus Christ. This was probably the worst one. Alright. So, uh, the number for this one is a two. So, that means the, uh, it's eight, zero, two, uh, four, two, six, two, three, one, three. I'm going to, I'm going to go to white pages real quick. It's a Vermont area code. And it's a landline. You know, <laughs> and there, there was a search in the last 30 days, apparently. Um, looking at it, it looks like this could be a phone number for Burlington, maybe. You know, if there is an org behind this game, um, someone cut your rope. Skip the intro, yeah. Why did it repeat that? That's bizarre. Call a phone number. Alright, um, yeah, you know what? Here we go. Call went through. Hello, who is this? Hello? My... I'm scared. Wait, you say Lily? It's my new cell phone. Bro, it's... Well, okay, actually... Cell phones did exist in the 90s, but yeah. This is weird. Did hands just appear? Did I, did I see that right? something original lily oh okay we talk okay i see what's going on now yeah oh. <laughs> wow really took me 20 times to get through this huh Okay, this all makes sense now. Let's mom explain the situation. Definitely quite the interesting looking lily. 
So she has blue hair now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought she said her boyfriend, Burger Man. What the fuck? Can we take anything off here? Oh, we we don't have any of that shit, do we? Oh, she's dead. Fuck. Oh no, she's alive. off here in the garden. That was wild. And this was made in RPG Maker. Fuck. I actually didn't know that. Oh, she only died 15 times. Okay. Hey, and now they've not pixelated. Also, RAM usage for the game is up to four and a half gigs. Don't know what that's about, but yeah. All right, this was this was a really good game. I am pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect that this would be its own video as well for the channel. Wow. Did this even say anything about being RPG Maker? Yeah, I don't think this game said anything about being RPG Maker. <laughs> it, it is actually using five gigs of RAM, and then there's another instance of it down here that's using uh, 600 megabytes. So here's a little teaser for anyone watching the second channel. Because um, you get to kind of see what games I might cover in the future on the main channel. Um, as was the case when I played Mad Father, which this game actually reminds me a lot of. Yeah, this will probably make it in the next RPG Maker video I do. Which I'm hoping to do um, another one very soon. Like in the next couple months, hopefully. This is probably definitely going to be a game that I cover in my RPG Maker series. I go through a bunch of them, so... Yeah, um, play this game. Actually, well, I guess since you already watched me play it, uh... <laughs> you probably aren't gonna play this, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is... This is definitely going to be a classic, I feel. Uh, if it somehow isn't already. Um, is this a new game, or did this... Has this been out for a while? Oh, it... This is, this is pretty new, actually. 